Hey guys, it's Christian Rocha, and of course for this video I'm doing the uh, explanation of my last video, All Your Card. Uh, for this trick, it does require a setup such as you're going to need the two jokers and four cards of any kind. I just decided to use the ace. The ace is, um, but yeah, you can use any card out of here that you wish. Maybe the tens get four tens. Or it, it doesn't matter. But the setup here is take, um, I'm just going to use the aces. The two aces and face them upward and take um, the other two aces and face them downward. Next thing you're going to do is place the two jokers on them, uh, facing down as well. So you should have about four cards on top of two face-up cards. Do some kind of uh, shuffle, whatever you wish. Just try to try to uh, keep those cards in line and not to flash them, just like so. And say that you have uh, cut straight to the two jokers. And what you want to do from that point is get a... Uh, pinky break under the first card which is the first ace right here get a pinky break under there and hold it with your thumb you can sweet and cut the bottom half place it on top maintaining that break and then getting it back into a pinky break then what you're gonna do is spread out uh, the cards and ask the spectator to select one say they choose this one here you out jog that card and when you square it all back up with that card out jogged, you still have that pinky break right there on that ace, that top ace there. And when you square it all up, just like this, see at this point you're forcing the card. When you square that card up, you're lifting up that whole break. So it doesn't matter really what card they pick out of there, you're always going to just pull up that break. And of course this is a uh, card force. And then what you do after that is you flip the packet over, what you want to do is uh, get a pinky break above that ace because you're going to control it back to the top and do maybe a few cuts and uh, then another uh, shuffle, a, f a false shuffle, false cut and may, uh, get these four cards back in its proper position. So now you force this card on them thinking they had a choice and it's all back on top. Then the next thing you want to do is bring these back into a uh, the spectator's attention show okay you should have been looking at this making sure there's no trap doors while in the meantime what you want to do is riffle through the deck until you see the first ace then get a pinky break and what you're going to do is slide out those two cards and um, putting pressure friction on the top card so it slides off so you're sliding out um, these two cards here one ace face down another one face up you're sliding that uh, sliding this out and placing it on top. And then after you do that, you still have that pinky break there above that ace. What you want to do is lift up that ace. So now you have this whole packet right here. And what you're going to do is say these are magical jokers. They're my little helpers. Place those on top. And then pinch them at the corners. And what you're going to do essentially is a shake change. When you shake it like that, you're just going to turn the packet over. As you're shaking it, you turn the packet over. So now you have the jokers on this side and aces on this side. But of course it looks like you're just shaking it. You just place the jokers on top like that and say all, all I have to do is give it a shake like that. Nothing much. And instantly an ace or their selected ace jumps between uh, the jokers. Now to display what you want to do is lift this card up. Because if you slide it over you'll flash that this card is face up and just completely screw the whole trick up. So you want to lift it like this and kill the deck display that it did jump in between and while you killed the deck what you want to do is get a pinky break under this ace here like that and so that way when you square it all back up you now have that ace on the bottom of this packet and so first you want to kill the deck again otherwise you'll flash the jokers again ruin the trick you want to kill the deck a second time just like that and display that try to maintain just keep it look like there's just three cards here when really you have that ace here and these cards here of course aren't the jokers they're the other aces but spectator thinks they're the jokers you're going to place this down on the table and ask them what i like to do is this kind of switch take this card here grab it like that and then take this bottom packet which has the ace on the bottom uh the back point to it and be like so what's the partner to another ace 
or, or to an ace, an, another ace. Take your hand like this, place it here. What you're gonna do is to have the other ace uh, jump in jump in between these two cards is just simply slide your thumb over. And maybe some snapping motion uh, like that. And just, just push your thumb over, make it look like it jumped in between. And say, and instantly another ace jumps in between the two jokers, but the amazing thing is, that these aren't even jokers, that these are also the other aces. And so yeah, that's how the trick's done. Hey guys, I just want to thank you for watching, and uh, tomorrow I will be posting another tutorial, but I decided I'm going to try to fit the performance and the explanation all in one video. I also figured that would be the best decision, so thanks for watching.